Hi, welcome to Old Guys Gentlemen Flex Fountain Pens, episode number 58, I believe. And this will be a short one because I've already reviewed this pen. It's a Tasia Rodden Raiden. Someone will have to tell me how to say that. Uh, you can see it on uh, the video number 53. The difference between that one and this one is that I have now sent this off to Michael Masayama at Mike at, uh, at Mike at work dot com and let's see and he has turned this nib into a well oh, about a triple extra fine flex nib it is wait times like four months these days maybe it's even longer now uh, but it's worth it. He doesn't really charge that much, in my opinion, if you're willing to wait. Uh, very reliable. He's done a few of my pens. And I will now go ahead and show you how well it writes. Okay? Okay. So I think this was a extra fine before. It was a Japanese extra fine, so it was fairly thin. But uh, he brought this down just a little bit thinner for me and made it flex nib. If you take a look at episode 53, you'll see the kind of line you get out, which is a really nice, pleasant, firm uh, nib. But now, what we can do, so now let's see how well it writes. <laughs> I'm laughing because this is like the fourth, fourth time I've been inter interrupted. Let's see, my dog just is barking at something. Probably someone dared to drive in front of our house. And now we'll try a little bit more pressure. A little bit more pressure. A little bit more. More. I probably don't want to go too much further in that, but that's definitely in between double broad, triple broad, something like that. And you can get really nice line variation. should probably use a little bit wetter ink than this because this does not, not always happen. I'm not sure what I have in here. It's probably a pelican. I'm going to try a wetter ink. All right, so this is with a wetter ink. So that's pretty reliable, as long as you're using the right kind of ink. I'm not sure what kind of feed he used in here. I'm not sure if he modifies that for additional flow. Um, but I've used this for journaling, and it's, it's reliable, as long as I've got the right ink. This would be more typical of my writing.
Okay, so now I've got this really pretty pen that also has a, a beautiful flex on it. So if you can stand the weight, it, it doesn't cost an arm and a leg to have him do it for you. Michael Masuyama, there we go, uh, at mikeitwork.com, no spaces, no underlines. He does a really good job. And that's it. Thank you.